Good morning everyone, this is Bremster and this is a start of a new guest video. You can tell that because I just started a new guest video. So um, before I start the puzzle, I do want to do the solver shout outs, which are um, published in the uh, Discord channel where these puzzles are released. Um, and the following is what I have. There's Sig um, and then a bunch of emoticons um, who has just achieved their 500 hats. Um, and then there's third topic first, oh, third topic um, who got their first single hat. So congratulations to both of them, both of them. I don't know if people just aren't sending them in or, or what the issue is, but that's all I've got for this five days. So um, today's puzzle, which is for the 20th of January, 2024, is called Trapple Lines by Philip Newman. And it came with the following message. We've done a few zipper line puzzles now, most recently my January 11th guess. Hopefully you've gotten the hang of them, because now it's time to pair zipper lines with another constraint. Today's guess is a killer zipper lines Sudoku. Then there's the rules. If you get a dinosaur today, you get an algorithmic um, algo uh, algo uh, algosaurus. So here's the puzzle. So normal Sudoku rules. First video. So let's go through those. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, we have to put the digits one through nine without repetition. Um, we have killer cages. So digits in cages must sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage. We don't have to say that digits can't repeat within cages because every cage has, um, every cage is, uh, da, 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 how do I put this? Every cage is um, in the same row or same column. Then we've got zipper lines. So for each line, the, the digits in each pair of cells an equal distance away from the central cell of the line sum to the digit in the central cell of the line. So what that means is if we get this line, this is the central cell. So these sum to the same total as that. This cell is the central cell of the line. These two sum to the same as that. These two sum to the same as that. And the same is true for all of the lines. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So this is a 15 cage. We know that there are, this sums to the same as those, sums to the same as those. 15 divided by three is five. 12 divided by two is six. Eight divided by two is four. These sum to four, so they are one and three. 21 divided by three is seven. 14 divided by two is seven. 18 divided by three is six. 10 divided by two is five. 24 divided by three is eight. Um, and 16 divided by 2 is 8. So we know that these sum to 5. So these are 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, and I'm not sure how to deal with that. We do have to put a 5 in here by Sudoku. If 5 was here, 3 would go here. I think that's okay. Now, where am I getting the pressure? 7 has to be in here by Sudoku. 7 can't sum to 6. So this is the 7, which means... How do I make this six? Is that what I'm looking at? So, oh, actually, no, it's these. How do I make six? I can only make six with one, five, and two, four. So these are one, five, and two, four. There's no one or four there. So no one there means no five there. No four there means no two there. But seven can only be made up with one, six, two, five, or three, four. So eight and nine are down here. I, hmm. These are from one, two, three, four. These are from three, seven, eight, nine. So, oh, right, this cell is a naked single because this, these are three, seven, eight, nine. I can't put a nine in that cage. That's a three. This is seven, eight, nine. This three means this is the five. The three looks up taking three out of there, which takes two out of there. This is a quadruple. No, it's not a quadruple is the problem. But these have to sum to eight. They're not one, seven. They've got to be two, six, because yeah, these are two, six, which takes two out of there, which takes three out of there. This is a one, four pair. So one and four come out of those. This is a two, three pair. Now, this is a seven cage. So eight and nine are in both of those. 
because these are five. Oh, hang on. One, two, three, four, five. These are six, seven, eight, nine, but there's no seven, eight, or nine there because there's a seven there and I can't put an eight or a nine in a seven cage. This is the six. This is the one. These are seven, eight, nine. I should have paid attention to that earlier. There's no seven there. Seven is in fact in one of those two. But this is now two, five, or three, four. But this one makes this the three and this the one. Which means this can't be one, five, so it's two, four. Which one of these is a two and one of these is a two. So if this is a three, this is a two. If this is a two, it's just a two. If this is a three and this is a two, this is a four and this is a two. Two must go in one of those, which means these can't be two, three. This is one, four, which makes that the two, that the three, that the two, that the four, which means that's the one, that's the four. These are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one and nine. This is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, eight, and nine. There's no one there. So this can't be one, seven. It could be two, six. It can't be three, five. So this is two, six. And the two here makes this the six and this the two. I am finding this quite tricky. There's no one here. So there's no five here. There's no one here, so there's no five here. This is the two, four. So this is the one, this is the five. Put one in one of those two. This. If it's, it can't be one, six. If it's two, five, it's two and five. If it's three, four, it can't be three, four. This is two and five, which means this is four, this is two. The two looks across making this the six and this the two. Now this can no longer be three, four. So this is two, five. And this two means this is the five and this is the two. And this is the only cage I haven't resolved yet. This is a triple. One, two, three four, five, six, seven, three, eight, nine. There's no three there. So there's a one right there. This is eight or nine. This is a, right, seven here. This can't be seven. So this is an eight, nine pair. But what I was looking at is where's six in this column? Because this is six, seven. So this is seven, this is six. This is a triple. One, two, three, four, s three, four, nine. There's no three there. So three is it. Oh, there's no three there. That's the three. The one, four makes this the nine, this the four. The nine makes this the eight and takes eight out of there. Takes eight out of there. So this is seven or nine? One, two, three, four, five. No. This nine makes this seven, taking seven out of those. This is a six. One, two, three, f one, four, seven, nine. No, this nine makes this the one, this the nine, this the one. So that makes this the four, this the one. So now it's one, two, three, four, five, six. These are seven and eight, which means this is the nine, this is the eight. These are two and four, and I know the order, four and two. Are these still, th well, where's eight in this row? It's there, so that's nine, that's three, that's nine. These are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three and nine. These are one, two, three, four, five, six, four, six and seven. The four and the six already in the column makes that the seven. And right. This nine looks up making this the eight, this the nine, this is the seven and has been for ages. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three, eight, nine. There's no eight there. Actually, there's no eight or nine there. That's the three, that's the nine, that's the eight. This is a two. One, two, three, five, and six. There's no five there. There's no six there. 
One, two, three, four, five, and eight go into those. Wow. Have I made a terrible mistake here? So this column is missing one, three, four, five, nine. So one, three, five, nine. So this is five or nine. So it's not one. This is the one. This column is missing one, two, three, four, six, nine. So this is a nine. So this is a five. This is a three. This is a six. This is a five. This is a four. This is a six. This is a nine. This is a three. This five makes this the eight, this the five, which makes this the seven, this the eight. This row is missing the four, and these are one, two, three, and seven, and I can use the seven in the column to resolve it. Eight minutes, 45. Okay, so the time I was expected to get on that one was eight minutes. So, ouch. I think the Sudoku, the Sudoku in that one was trickier than I expected, unless I missed, I mean, I missed something. But the, I, I was saying this on the gas stream yesterday. It really feels like, and I've noticed on a lot of the Soul videos, I, I've only watched a couple. So I don't know if they've stopped doing it, but a couple of the gas um, videos over on the Genuinely Approachable Sudoku channels. I try not to watch their videos because I'm doing these and I don't want to be impacted by what they're doing. Um that um, the pencil mark checker was being used. So I don't know if that's impacting the solve times and therefore the expectation is everyone else is solving with the pencil mark checker as well. I, I don't know what the, the situation is there. Um, I'm not going to use it. And if that, and I'm also explaining, and if that's going to impact my time, then that's going to impact my time. I've said before, I'll say it again, I don't enjoy speed solving. Um, I much prefer to take the time to save the logic. That's my personal preference. There is no right or wrong way to solve. If you enjoy speed solving, go for it. Um, and I hope everyone um, had a good uh, luck run of luck with the World Puzzle Championship, which I believe started last weekend. So, yeah, that was a good puzzle. I enjoyed it. I really liked the break in. It was it was very clear. Um, so anyway, uh, see you tomorrow. Okay, another puzzle for the 21st of January 2024, which is called Point to Next by Clover. And this is the message that came with it, I think. This puzzle broke my screen, uh, this message broke my screen reader, um, and I just started getting errors when I would try to post it into my, um, my reading app. So... Um, I don't know what's going on here. There was just a whole section that just broke. So what I've got is good morning, friends. Um, then I got, it tried to translate it into Arabic. And I, so I'm assuming it was an Arabic message. And then it got, um, guess becomes point next optional Sudoku, normal Sudoku applying in digits with arrow cell. One greater must be somewhere in direction arrow, not right arrow Sudoku, left instance there six somewhere bottom four grow, row cell column. Thanks. I... I, I'm just going to delete the message. It broke my screen reader. Um, what I do have is the hat times, which I had to manually type in. Um, so, yeah, normally I, I copy and paste and don't look at them, but I, I, I pulled them out separately. So let's look at the puzzle where I can see the rules. So January 21st, 2024, point to next by Clover. So normal Sudoku rules apply. If a digit appears in a cell with an arrow, then the digit one greater than it must appear somewhere in the direction that arrow points. So if a digit appears in a cell with an arrow, so a digit here, then the the digit one greater than it must appear somewhere in the cell in the uh, somewhere in the direction the arrow points, not necessarily right next to the arrow. For instance, there must be a six somewhere in the bottom three cells of column four. Bottom three cells of column. Four. Okay, because there's a five here, there must be a six down here because the digit one higher than this must be pointed to. Right, got it. Restarting the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So this is pointing at something higher. So because this 
one of these has to be one higher than this. This has to be one or five, and it can't be one, so this is a five. This is pointing at something higher, so this has to be three or seven. This has to be, uh, no, this has to be three or five, and it can't be five, so this is three. So this is seven. These are now a one nine pair, and that works for, no, nine. If this was a nine, this would have to point to a 10. So this is the one, and this is the nine. Now, this is pointing to a four and a six. So this is either three or five, so it's five. This is a triple now. One, two, three, four, five, six, two, seven, and eight. There's no eight there. We do know there's a nine in one of those two, but because of Sudoku, it's there. There's a seven in one of those three. So there's no seven there. So this is two, eight, and seven. Um, there is a four in one of those. So there's a four in one of those two. We do, as the rules instructed, there's a six in one of those. Now this is pointing at those. So this is either two or four. And this, I'm not sure yet. Okay, let's use this box. This is pointing at digits higher. So this is six or eight. This is pointing at digits higher. So this is two or four. So this is a two, four pair. Okay, this is pointing at, this is either four or eight, and this is either two or six. So these are the even digits. So this is a one. This. Uh, now, this has to point to the next highest digit. So this is pointing at this. So because this, if this was pointing at that, that'd be a zero. So it can't be one, two, it can't be two, three. It could be three, four, can't be four, five, can't be five, six, can't be six, seven. So uh, hang on, it could be three, four, it can't be six, seven, it could be seven, eight or eight, nine, but they're the only possibilities. Okay, I am definitely not following this. Oh, the two here makes this the six, which makes this the eight, which makes this the four, which makes this the two. That probably helps. Maybe. The two makes this the four. So this is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. There's no six or seven there. That's the nine. There's no six, right. So this is the six and this is the seven and the six comes out of those. Okay, now the three is still pointing at the four, but the four isn't there, so the four goes there. Eight, this still has to point at a nine, but apart from that, I've just got these. Okay. So one in this box, it's in one of those. One can't go here because it can't point at a two. So one is in one of those two. I've got two, three, four, five. Six is in one of those, one of these two. If six is here, it's pointing at a seven. But I know seven is in here. Eight is in one of... Well, hang on. Eight can't be here. So eight is in these the same as one. So this is a one-eight pair. That's weird. So this is a 6-7 pair. And this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is the 9. So this is 1 or 8. Oh, this is 6. This is 7. Six is now in one of those two, the nine means that's not the nine, that's the nine. This is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's no six there. There's no four or five there. That's the six. This is a four, five. This is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, seven, eight. Must contain a seven. There's no four here, so this can't be a three anymore. So three is in one of those two, but if three was here, four would have to be here and it can't be. That's not the three, that's the three. So two is in one of these, two could be here. In fact, two is here by Sudoku and this is seven, eight, nine. 
No, it's not seven or eight. That's the nine. That's the eight. That's the seven. It's very clever. One, two, three, four, nine. There's no three or nine there. That's the four. And these are one, two, three, four, five, six. There's no five or six there. That's the one. And this is the five and this is the six. And I think I've done all the clues. So this triple, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, eight. There's no two there. There's no eight there, but that's a one, eight pair. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's a three in one of those two. By Sudoku, that's a seven. So this is not the seven. This is the seven, which means by Sudoku, that's a seven. One is not, one's in one of those two. That's not it. This is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three, eight, nine. There's no three there. Uh, that's the three. This is an eight, nine. This is known. It's just a one. So this is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the two. This is the five. This is the six. The five makes that the four, which makes that the five. I don't understand. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, and eight. There's no three there or eight. So this is a one, two pair. There's no two or three there. So that's a one, eight pair. So that's the two, that's the three. The two makes that the one and that the two. So this is an eight, nine because it's one, eight, nine for the row. So this is the one. Oh no, wait, I just made a huge mistake. No, I should have just used this. This one makes this the two, which makes this the eight. This is now a triple, which is one, two, three. The one and the two makes that the three. Let's go back and do this correctly. So the eight makes this the nine and this the eight. One, two, three. This is a four, which makes this the five and this the four. The one, two looks down, making this the eight, this the one, which takes one out of there. In fact, this is the one. These are two, three, and eight. There's a two and an eight looking down, making that the three. The eight looks down, making that the two and that the eight. This two looks across, making this the one and this the two. These rows can be completed. One, two, three, four, five, six, this is a nine. So this is a one. The nine looks up, making this the three and this the nine. That's the solution in eight minutes, 23. And I missed with an error. I made a mistake. So missing the two hat time by 23 seconds. Yeah, that makes sense. It also took me a bit to wrap my head around the logic. And I have no idea what today's message was. I'm sorry. Um, when I copied it into my screen reader, everything just went nuts. I don't know what was going on with the message. So um, sorry about that. Oh, but cool puzzle. Um, just I wasn't that quick at it. That happens. Um, thanks, everyone. Why am I signing off? I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, another puzzle for the 22nd of January 2024, Return of the Mac by Bill Murphy. I've been unable to record for the last few days, so I'm doing catch up and I'm still a bit sick. Anyway, um, and the message from Bill Murphy for this puzzle was, I'm busy, sorry, little killer Sudoku today. Then it goes into the rules, and if you get a dinosaur, you get a birthday brontosaurus. His name is Steve. Okay, so the puzzle um, is this one, Return of the Mac, um, and the rules are normal Sudoku rules apply, and digits along an indicated diagonal um, sum to the given total. So they're the, they're the rules. Um, I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. Where to start? So we know that these digits sum to 15, but those two digits sum to 8. So these have to sum to 7, and they don't contain a 1 or a 2. So the minimum they could be is 3, 4, so they must be 3, 4. The 4 here makes this the 3, which makes this the 4. Now, do I continue that? These sum to 15, these sum to 8, so these have to sum to 7. 
and they can't be three, four, or two, five. So these are one and six, and the one here makes this the six and this the one. Down here, do we have, can I do Sudoku at this point, I'm wondering, because I don't have as many powerful diagonals. Now these sum to 22, actually it might be this 16. So that's 16 now, I'm not gonna be speed solving this. Minimum here is two, three, which is five. Minimum here is one, four, which is five. Minimum here though is two. So that's a 12. Actually, minimum here is three. Let's do this. Minimum here is three. Minimum here is two. That would work. Minimum here is one. Minimum here is four, which is five. And then that could be a, no, it can't be a six. So I do have to push these up. But if I push these up, I could just increase that digit and I could push these up by increasing that digit, no problem. So I don't think that's where I should be looking. What I'm not sure about here is where I should be looking. So these sum to 25, those sum to 12. So these have to sum to 13. Okay, so how do I do 13? Nine, four could work. I can't use eight, four, I can't use seven, six. So these are four and nine, and the nine here makes this four and this nine. So it is that. These sum to 25, these sum to 12. So these sum to 13, I can't use a nine, four or eight, five. So these are seven, six. The six here makes this the seven and this the six, which makes this a six by Sudoku. This is a four by Sudoku. Four is in one of those two by Sudoku, which might be pushing this up. Seven is now in one of those two by Sudoku, which makes this a seven. Now these diagonals are the ones that are going to stress me out. Maybe this quadruple? Like, what can that be? It can be two, it can't be three, four, it can be five, two, five, eight, or nine. But if this is, oh no, if this is eight or nine, these have to be too low. Because if this is nine, these have to sum to a maximum of, what is it, 16 minus nine, I'm still not fully recovered, uh, 16 minus nine is seven. And while I could theoretically do that if they could repeat, like I could make these like one, three and one, four. I could make this one, four, but I can't use a one down here. The minimum here is two, three, which is five. The minimum here is one, four, which is five. This can't be more than six. So this is two or five. Oh, it's not five. Hang on. So this is just a two. So these have to sum to 14. And it puts two in one of those. This is, a, ah, this is a six by Sudoku though. So these are eight, these have to sum to eight. And this has a minimum of five with two, three. So this has a maximum of three and it's one. So these sum to one, two, six is nine. These have to sum to seven. They're not one, six. So they're two, five. And they're not two, five because I can't put two, five into them. So these are a three, four pair. That's very cool. The four makes this the three and this becomes the four. And I've done this diagonal. It may not have been the one I should have done next. I'm definitely not at my best today. This 22 now, because those sum to 22, these sum to 15. So I need another seven in those. Now, because they're two digits that sum to an odd number, I can't duplicate them. So I could use one six, but I can't. Two five might work. Three four, I can't put three in either of them. So these are two and five. And they are different. Okay. Is there more Sudoku I can do? So three is right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is seven, eight, nine. So this is nine and these are seven, eight, which means these are one, two, three, four, one, five. And I know the order, one and five. This is a triple, two, three, four. There's no four there. There's no three in either of those. So that's the three, that's the two, that's the four. This is now where the seven is. And this is a three. This is a triple. 
one, two, eight. There's no two there. There's no one or eight there. That's the two. This is a one, eight pair. Um, up here, one, two, three, four, I need to put a five, or well, let's do this pair, one, two, three, four, five, and nine, which I can resolve, nine and five. So these are one, two, three, four, five, six and eight. Well, this six makes this the eight and this the six, which makes this the seven and this the eight. The five makes this the two, which makes this the five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, well, there's no... Wait, did I just break that? I had four in... Why did I have four in those two with a four there? Because I am broken. One, two, three, four, five, eight, and nine go into those. There's no nine there. The eight looks down, making that the one and that the eight. One, two, and nine. Now, I am still looking at this diagonal for something. Now these sum to 18. 34 minus 18 is 16. If this is a 2, this would have to be too high. So this is a seven, 9, which means this has to be a 7. So this is the 2. I think those sum to the right amount. 13, 21, 28, 34. Yes. And now this is the only diagonal I haven't done. These are 12, 15. These have to sum to 13. They are odd, so they can't be the same digit. 13. Now, I can't use 9, 4. I, could I can't use 7, 6. So these are 8 and 5. And the 5 here means this is the 8 and this is the 5. And that, I believe, is all the little killer clues done. Not very quickly, but they're done. This is the 3. The Eight makes that the five, and five comes out of those. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is an eight. One, two, three, four, seven, and nine. There's no four there. There's no nine there. There's no seven there. One, two, five. This is the five. Sorry, my keyboard skills are failing as well. These are one, three, and six. There's no one there, no six there, no three there. I'm pretty certain I've done all the little killers, so I'm not sure. So what is in these columns? One, two, three, one, two, four, and seven. So this is a four, which means this is the nine, this is the seven, this is the four. And these are one, two, seven. There's no seven there, the one, two makes that the seven. The two makes this the one, which makes this the two, which makes this the one. Uh, let's look at this row then. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, and six. There's a one and a six. So that's the two. This is a one, six. The one looks out making that the six, that the one, that the three, that the six. I've now got pairs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, five and nine. The five makes that the nine, that the five, which makes that the eight, that the nine. One, two, I need to put in a three, four, five, and an eight. And that is the correct solution in eight minutes and 51. Uh, it was seven minutes. Seven minutes is pretty much the standard time and I was way outside of it. That doesn't surprise me at all. Um, I'm not very good at little killer puzzles. I can't really do these in my head very well. I wasn't too bad at these, but these ones always I struggle with to do in my head and I'm not really with it today. So, but um, I've got to do all three of the puzzles that uh, I've missed to try and get the video out. Oh, well, that's the way it is. Um, see you for tomorrow's puzzle next. And now the 23rd of January 2024 puzzle, which is called Monte Cristo. Apparently it's got a full title of The Sum of Monte Cristo by Philip Newman. I wouldn't put the full title in the title. I don't understand. Anyway, this is the message that came with it. Genuinely approachable Sudoku will return. Right, what? Oh, genuinely approachable sauropods will return. That is a, a series of videos that Philip is doing over on the genuinely approachable Sudoku channel, which is talking about the dinosaur, um, the dinosaur names and stuff, which is cool. Anyway, the rest of the message. It's time for a rare Breath of the Wild update. Luke has decided that he's ready to tackle it on his own. He'll be eight soon after all. A couple of days ago, he woke up one of the Guardians on the Great Plateau trying to destroy it with bombs. In order to escape, he ran directly off a cliff. Well, at at least it, yeah, it didn't shoot me with its laser. I mean, he's right. He avoided a game over. Today's gas is a sandwich Sudoku celebrating both my favorite sandwich. Okay. 
top five, but not my favorite. Guess my actual favorite in the comments and favorite book. Okay. I, I'm not having trouble passing that sentence. It could be me. Um, and if you get a dinosaur today, you get a uh, Kakariko uh, Karongasaurus. Karong yeah, Karongasaurus. Okay. Kakariko Village, I believe I remember from Ocarina of Time, but I could be wrong. Sandwich is another variant I am bad at speed solving because I have a particular solving technique that I use, um, and that does not lend itself to speed solving. But the way Sandwich Sudoku works is the um, a value out... Oh, I'll read the rules. A value outside the grid is a sandwich clue. It tells you the sum of the digits between the one and the nine in that row or column, not including the one or the nine themselves. So for example, in this row, we know that between the one and the nine in the row, there will be digits summing to 31. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So we know that ones and nines are going to be crusts. Now we know that there must be digits summing to 31 between the one and the nine in this row. And we ca therefore we can't put the one, the nine here or the di it would sum to zero. Um, and I like to mark where it can't be. Similarly here, um, we, um, and the 33 means that we can't put it here. Now the minimum that you could do 31 in, well, the important thing to realize is we need digits outside the sandwich summing to, um, four, because the sandwich, the an entire row or column of a Sudoku contains the digits one to nine, and they sum to 45, but the crusts in that row are the one and the nine, so they sum to 10. So you're working with 35. So for example, we can use this column as an example. We know that the digits in between must sum to 35, not including the crusts. So the crusts must absolutely be here, and this is a one nine pair, and these are all not the digits one to nine. But we know that the digits outside here must sum to four, but there's only one way to do four if you can't use a one, um, and that's a four on its own. So this is a four, this becomes the nine, and this is a crust, and these are all part of sandwich. Down here, we've got three that we must have outside the sandwich, and the only way to do that without using a one is to make the three outside. These all become part of sandwich, and this becomes the one. Now, I'm trying to explain while doing it, which is why I'm visualizing with the, um, and I've broken the puzzle. This is, br no, I've absolutely broken the puzzle. Because I can't, this is definitely not part of the sandwich, but in this 35, no, I haven't broken the puzzle. See, I'm really not with it today. These are one and nine. I know those are one and nine. This has to be the three. This has to be the one. This is... Um, all sandwich, but that means this is the nine and this is the one. I was thinking, hang on, this has to be a one, but it doesn't. Now we know that we've already got the one and the nine, so those are all not part of the sandwich. Okay, now, the one and the nine have to be together in rows with zero. So if I was to put the one and the one or a nine here, this would have to be a one or a nine, so I can't put it here. If I put it here, I'd have to put one here, and that can't work, so there's not one here. I could put them here. Can't put it here because I'd have to put one here, so there's not one here. So it's either a pair here or a pair here. Now, a 14 can't be done in a single digit, so those definitely aren't, but because I can't do it in a single digit, if it goes this way, it's two digits, and all of these aren't, and if it goes this way, it's a, it's a, not a single digit, and then all of these aren't, so I can also exclude both of those, because if it goes this way, these are all green, if it goes these way, this is all green, but either way it goes, it has to be at least two digits, and up here... I'm not sure yet. Oh, 33 is the same as 32, I think. Yeah, I just have a two outside. All of these are part of the sandwich, and this is a nine. I'm not a fast solver of these. That's just the way it is. Now, I can't make this the pair because I've got the one and the nine down here. So this isn't the pair. This is the pair, which means this is the one. This is the nine. This is the one. This is the nine. Okay, these are both green now. Now, the 30, there are two ways of making up the 30, but the only two ways of making up the th uh, to make up the five that I need outside the sum are two and three or five. 
but this three means that I can't make it a two and a three, because if I put the two here, the three would be here. And what would I put in that cell if, because the furthest away I could put a one to not include the three would be here. So if I made these sum to th these sum to 30, which I could do with six, seven, eight, nine, I've got too many digits that aren't included. So this has to be the one. Then this has to be the five, which excludes everything else. These all become green. And then I know that these two have to sum to eight. These are all green now because they all see both one and nine. Um, these have to sum to eight. Oh, the only place I can put two together here in this to get the zero is here. So these, are, this is green because it sees the one and the nine. This is the one. This is the nine. There's a zero here. So this is the one. This is the one. This becomes green. And this is just the way I visualize this. And there's nothing I can do about that. Now, these sum to eight and they don't include a one or a two. So they are three, five, because the only, if I move up from that, I hit four, four, which doesn't work. The three here makes this the five and this the three. Um, these have to sum to 12. They can't be 9, 3. They can't be 8, 4. So they're 7, 5 because the next option is 6, 6. The 7 makes this the 5 and this the 7. These sum to 14. They can't be 9, 5. They could be 8, 6. And they can't be 7, 7. So they are 8 and 6. These sum to 6 because these could have, I could have colored these green a while ago. These sum to 6. So the only way I can do that, the only way to do six in two cells is one, five, and two, four, and one is a cross digit. So this is two, four. Um, not sure how to resolve that one yet. Oh, this is a zero clue in this column. So this is the nine. This becomes green. That's the nine. Um, do I have another row to work off here? Well, one is in, oh, one is just placed here by Sudoku. And nine is also probably placed by Sudoku. Yes, nine isn't in any of those cells. This is the nine by Sudoku. I could make these green, but what I can do at this point is just get rid of the green and work on a single color. Okay. And I think all of the clues are now done. So I've got my 12, I've got my 33, I've got my zero, I've got my 35, I've got my zero, I've got my 30, I've got my six. I've got my eight, I've got my 31, I've got my zero, I've got my 35, I've got my zero, I've got my 32, and I've got my 14. Now I'm down to Sudoku. Okay. So three, three, three is in one of those two. Five is in one of those two. Eight is in one of those two. That sees one, two, three, four, five. So it's six, seven, or eight. I know I can ignore seven is in one of those two. Four is in one of those two. I can't see which digit I am unlocking with here. What's the quadruple here? Two, three, four, six. So this is three or six. So this is two or three. I'm not getting it. I know I'm not at my best today, but that's most days. So what am I missing across the top? Four six, seven, eight. So this can't be four or seven. So four, six, six or eight go into, into there. So four is in, four. So this is four, seven or eight, four, seven. Or, and this is four, six or seven. No, I don't see it. Five, where's five in this box? It's there, which puts five right here. Five, five means this is the five, so this is the seven, which takes seven out of those. Can I do more with fives? Five is here, 
which means this isn't five and this is five. Is it sevens now? No, but what's the triple I'm missing in this column? So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So these are six, seven, and eight. So this is the seven, which means this is the seven. No, I can't put seven in this box now. Oh no, seven is in one of those two. Why did I think that seven was pointing at those cells? I'm really not with it today. This is six or eight. Seven is in one of those two. So what is this triple? One, two, three, four. There's no three there. There's no three there because of the three pointing down here. So this is the three. This is the six. These are two and four. So these are one, two, three, four, five, six. So the six makes that the three and that the six which puts six in one of those two. These are one, two, three, four, five, two and eight. The two looks down making that the eight and that the two, which makes that the four and that the two. I th must have missed some basic Sudoku here. This is six or eight. So one, two, this is a three. In this row, one, two, three, four, two, four, six. So this is two, four, so this is the six, which means this is the eight, and this is two, four. The eight makes that the six, which makes that the eight. This becomes the four. Four is now right here by Sudoku. This is a pair. One, two, three. The three makes that the two, which makes that the three, which makes that the four, that the two, that the four, that the two, that the four, that the two. This is a pair. One, two, three, and seven. The three makes that the seven, seven, and now I can't type digits. Seven, and that the three. Yeah, I'm not going to do a good time, but I said that at the start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, and eight. There's a two there. That's the eight. That's the two. This is a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. The six looks up, making that the seven and that the six. That's the four. That's the eight. These are one, two, three, seven, and eight. There's no three or eight, so that's the seven. This is a three, eight, and I'll use that three to make that eight and that three. This box needs a seven. This box needs the six. I'm down to this last triple. One, two, three, four, five. That's the six. So these are seven and eight. So I go seven and eight, and that is the correct solution in 1152. Yeah, it was another seven minute. So I barely made, actually, I yeah, I barely made a single hat time on that one. I obviously missed some Sudoku I could have done. I possibly missed a given digit where I could have eliminated some stuff faster. Um, yeah, sorry about the long video on this one, I think, because I obviously missed something phenomenally obvious. Oh, well, it happens. Um, There's a nice sandwich Sudoku, though, so that's always fun. Um, see you for tomorrow's puzzle. Okay, and now the final puzzle in this particular gas series of videos. As you can tell, I am recording all of these in a row so I can try and release them on the day that this final puzzle is released. Um, but I am incredibly under the weather, but it's just the way the timing is lined up. So this is the puzzle for the 24th of January, 2024, and it's called Some Detector by Clover, the, a title that terrifies me because I'm terrible at math at the best of times. This is not the best of times. It is the best of times. It is the worst of times. Um, so here's the message that came with it. I am stunned, shocked, utterly flabbergasted that not a single one of you took me up on my bonus hat off for last, the last time I posted. I think the last time was the time that I that the message completely broke my screen reader and I couldn't even read the message. Like it just broke my, my software. So I have no idea. Um, it is if you don't care what, where the arrows are pointing. I no idea. Um, well, to solve today's puzzle, you'll have no choice but to notice those arrows. Hang on. So if, is it important that I need to have software that doesn't break the screen reader?
Oh, we'll find out. Maybe it's just I have to solve the puzzle. It is a sum detector Sudoku and normal Sudoku rules apply. Also, whatever oh, the rules are part of the message now. So I don't know what I'm doing. I'm hoping the rest is just rules. Um, if you get a dinosaur today, you get an ink. Hang on. So do I have to worry about encoding? I don't know. Um, if you get a dinosaur today, you get an encoded uh, ink Rix in a Tosaurus. Okay. Um, so I'm not sure if there was a coded message in the message last time, and that's why my screen reader just broke and just garbled the whole message. I really don't know. Um, like, I deal with encryption in my job every day. So I deal with encryption software, but my screen reader doesn't. So, yay. Anyway, let's have a look at just the rules on the puzzle and go from there. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Whenever a digit appears in a cell with an arrow, some number of digits immediately following that arrow must sum to the digits in the arrow cell. For instance, because there is a nine in a downward arrow in row nine, in row one, column one, then either row two, column one plus row three, column one equals nine, or row two, column one plus row three, column one plus row four, column one equals nine. Right. So it's basically an arrow pointing in this direction. So this is an arrow bulb, but we don't know the length of the straight arrow in that direction. That's cool. I like this one. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So this could either be 612 or it could be 63, but it can't be 63 because there's a six three, uh, 3 there. So this is 612. This 2 tells us that this is the 1 and this is the 2. This is 83. So these digit, either this digit is a 5 or these digits sum to 5. But if these digits sum to 5, they'd have to be 1, 4, or 2, 3, then they can't be. So this is a 5. This is fun. So these digits... Either that is a four, or these digits sum to four, and they can't sum to four because they'd have to be one, three, and it's not available. So that's a four. These are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five, and eight. And I've got an eight here. So this is a five, and this is an eight. Great. Now, this can't, these two can't sum to nine because that would have to be a six. These four can't sum to nine because the minimum that I could put in there, ignoring the digits that are already in the row, one, two, three, four, which sum to 10. So these two have to sum to six. I can't use two, four. So these are one and five. The five here makes this the one, which makes this the five. These two digits are one, two, three, four, five, two, and six. And there's a two here. So this is a six and this is a two. Okay, this nine, I've already got seven, so that's a two. This by Sudoku is three and seven. Great. Uh, this is a pair. So one, two, three, four, five, six, four and seven. There's already a seven in that box, so that's the four, that's the seven. Let's do some more stuff. Now, these have to be two digits that sum to four, because if these two sum to eight, this would be a four, which it can't be for many, many reasons. So these have to be one and three. So this is one and this is three. Again, I can't make four digits sum to eight, because math. Um, these... This could be a five, so five, four is possible, or those digits could sum to five. If they are, it could be one, four, and it would be, it can't be one, four, because there's already a four, so it'd have to be two, three, and therefore it'd have to be three plus two. So they're possible, but, so I know this is a three or a five, I don't know what that is. Okay, this eight. Now, this can't be a four, so I do know, if this is a five, then I'm not getting my eight clue. So this is three, this is one. These only sum to seven, so I do need the two. Great. This, now, these two digits have to sum to four, so these are one and three. The three here makes this the one, which makes this the three. Now, these are unknown triple. They're one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. If I made three, the minimum these could be is 11, so I can't do three digits summing to nine, so that plus that has to equal nine, so that's the seven. The six in the row makes that the five and that the six. This is a pair, one, two, three, four, two, and eight. So I can resolve the two and the eight. Am I solving this efficiently? No. Am I explaining what I'm doing? Hopefully. One, two, three, four, five, six, one and seven, but I've already got a seven in the box. This is the one, this is the seven. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The four here makes this the five, which makes this the four. I can do pairs in rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's a three already, so this is the five, this is the three. One, two, three, four, five, six, and nine go in, but there's already a six, so I can make this the nine and this the six. I should probably do this because I know that those two digits have to add to three because I can't make this three and three. So these are one and two. The one here makes this the two and this the one. I could have used the two for the same purpose. 
see me slowing down my solve. One, two, three, four, five, one, five, and nine. There is a nine not there because of the nine already in the column. Uh, the five already in the row makes this the one and this the five. Um, so in this row, I've got one, two, I'm missing three, four, and seven. There is a four here already. So this is the four. This becomes three or seven, and there's already a three. So this is the seven. This is the three. This is the seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are eight and nine, but I've already got an eight. So nine and eight. This column, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is a deadly pattern, but it's resolved by this seven because um, I can't include both of those because I blow the total. So this is the five to make the seven total work, and that resolves the deadly pattern in a very fun way. One, two, three, four, five, three, four, and seven. There is no three in either of those because of rows. In those because of rows. Um, I blame Rose. Um, it's Rose's fault. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, four, seven, and eight go into those. And there's a four and a seven already. So this is an eight. And I can take an eight out of there. There's a four already. So seven, four, seven. Um, I've got to put a one right here. Two, three. Let's do the triple. Four, eight, and nine. There is no nine in those. So this is the nine. The four makes that the eight and the four. I need to put a two in here, which goes there. Three, four, five, six. And that's that is four minutes 56, which is still a minute with an explanation. That is a minute and four seconds under the two hat time. Pretty happy with that one. That's a good way to end my three puzzle run. Maybe my brain is turning itself back on. Nah. <laughs> Anyway, so this is this um, gas Sudoku video. Um, definitely had some failures in the middle there. Um, definitely don't feel well. Um, that, that's irrelevant. Um, so good puzzles as always. Thank you everyone for watching. If you get this far, uh, please comment, uh, please like, please subscribe. Please go over to the genuinely, genuinely approachable Sudoku um, channel and do the same there and go to the gas homepage and check out some of the other sol uh, solvers that have been doing them. Uh, I think it's Lucian's place or Lucian's puzzles or something has been doing some really interesting stuff as well. That's another YouTube channel I think you should check out. Uh, one of the things I will not do is hide other channels that are doing interesting things from you. I'm also doing gas solves, which is just going to drive down the engagement here. Um, but uh, yeah, some really fun stuff happening over there. Um, I'm deliberately watching like a week behind, but so I can, um, uh, so I'm not spoiled for me doing these videos. But uh, yeah, good fun. Thanks everyone for watching, and as always, good luck with your solving. <laughs>